His name is Gunner Crossbones. Who's her what bones? Apparently, he's the biggest rock star in the universe. Must be new. He's been number one on the charts for over 500 years, Kabako. That's new. Ish. Here's an audio clip from Gunner's last known interview. You know, it's not really about the music. It's about the people, right? Because, like, people listen to music. And without people, no one's there to turn the music on. That would be silence. Which makes me sad. I'm sorry, what was the question again? These enemies look edgy, like they insult someone's parents or be on t-shirts in a mall. We're in the Radical Galaxy. What's radical? That's a made-up word. It's 1980s speak for great. Oh, you mean like bunk technical? Only you say that, Kabako. Yeah, but I say it a lot. system for space enemies. Eat bullets, stand up! Resolution. So enemies appear blocky and simple. Yeah, but this isn't a video game. That's true. This is real life. Exactly! These guys are cute! Where'd you say they're from? 1980. Where's that? 1980 is a year. What? Years used to be calculated using numbers. When did they change that? Back in Lemon Top Donut. Oh. Info on this guy? Well, he's a cabbagearian. He's a puppy dog? No. It means he only eats lettuce and lettuce byproducts. Ew! Health food! That is not functasmical! He also hates shirts. Then let's fight fire with fire! Don't take off your shirt, Kabako. Anyway, according to the Bounty Hunters database, he's been setting fire all across the galaxy. So he's a kleptomaniac. Pyromaniac. He steals fire? What? Huh? Never mind. Space 
America. That's where it cuts off. So keep an eye out for a giant space cow, Kabako. I will. Because that'll tell us which direction he went in. Yep, can do. I wonder who Gunner was talking about when he mentioned getting her back. Wait, I bet he's talking about... A girl! Right, because her, I mean, girl! Didn't you used to be a pop idol, Kabako? I think so. That means singing, right? I wonder if there's a connection. To what? Bones. Kabako, the intergalactic bounty hunting cat girl, in the flesh. And clothes. Where's your shirt, dude? You have no idea how much I've missed you, baby. Ew, don't call me that. Also, who are you? I said half the galaxy's on fire to find you. I'm in the phone book. Wait, are there still phone books? Maybe this song will remind you of our love. Would you like to hear it? Nope! Excellent! One, two, three, four! It was back in the year Lemon Waffle Cronut. Good year! I love cronuts. I was a struggling street guitarist. I wasn't very good. Though I had heart. Don't we all? Inside our chests? But my soul was empty. Like, like an empty bottle. Oh, metaphor. But then I met you, and that all changed. You filled up my soul, Kabako. With what? You sang vocals, I played guitar. And together we were amazing. And as our fame grew, I got a big head. I was gonna say something. Chased celebrity instead of chasing you. It's like twice as big as it should be. Eventually, I left you behind, and I've regretted it ever since. Your eyebrows are ginormous. You're the only woman I've ever loved, Kabako. I've dated since meant nothing to me. The what now? And now that I've found you, I'll win back your love. No, but painful note. Yeah, about that. Because love is pain, Kabako. The two are inseparable. I'm starting to remember you now. And either I'll get your love back, or I'll die trying. The second thing, that's what's gonna happen. Kabako, I you know you still love me. Listen, buddy, the only thing's running through my heart is blood. I don't believe it. You should, because I eat a lot of cronuts.
You did it, Kabako. Great job. Hey! I did something! You've destroyed me. Here, take my heart. I don't need it anymore. Ew! She told me you would do this. She who? Who she? It doesn't matter anymore. Okay! You know, you're not all bad. Really? Well, you're mostly bad. I mean, you did set the galaxies on fire. For you? Next time, buy me some cronuts. Squiddy! <laughs> Come on, Squiddy. Let's get out of here. I'm starving. Yes, sir. Metaphorical! So who's our next bounty? Our target is named Shekinah. Another rock star, no doubt. Actually, it says here he was a famous cook. Great, because I'm starving. Until he went insane and lost his four-star rating. I'm not picky. I'll eat at a D-rated restaurant. The D Center. Delicious. Yeah. So what this guy do? Why are we after him? He's been stealing food from across the galaxies, though no one knows why. Here's a clip from a recent interview. No, you imbecile. I do not cook to eat. I cook because I am compelled to create art. Do you understand passion? Can you comprehend the intangible muse who guides us? The rare and the gifted, the inspired. Uh, I, I'm sorry, Chef Enough. I, I just thought next time, don't. Well, the final question then, sir. A former culinary student of yours is taking the food world by storm. Uh, what are your thoughts on her success? Oh, this interview is over! He seems to have a temper. What did he say about a moose? Looks complicated. We're at the scene of Shepanov's last heist, the RPG Galaxy. Letters, huh? I've heard of those. RPG stands for Role Playing Game. What's with all the math in the stars? Those are stats. Are you positive? Ha ha ha! Get it, math joke. Ha! Laugh. <laughs> Good one, sir. I hate math. Stop learning. Yes, sir. are weird. Skeletons, winged eyeballs, in space, nah. -uh. RPGs are often populated with fantasy creatures. Slimes, dragons, wizards. Are those the games where you have to take turns? Some RPGs are turn-based, yes. Because it should always be my turn. Um, okay. Surveillance audio from Shefanov's latest food graph. So play it already! Everyone get down! Except you, come here. I need 500 pounds of dried porcini mushrooms, 200 white truffles. Are you kidding this? Half a ton of saffron, 60 months of turkey mushrooms, and all the foie gras you can carry. Well, what are you waiting for? Move! Get me my ingredients. But sir, we're a fast food chain. Then get me my food. Or I will destroy this entire galaxy, starting with this miserable little burrito stand. He seems to 
we unravel me. <gasps> like a loose burrito! There's only one burrito stand in this galaxy. Then that's the worst crap of all! Come on! Weren't you a chef at one point, Kabako? Probably. I know lots of things. Have you ever met our bounty before? He sort of reminds me of my old cooking instructor, but that guy's name was Chef Moff. But that's our bounty's name. What? I thought his name was Angel Kid Jones. Angel Kid Jones? But that sounds nothing like Chef Moff. Exactly. So how do you know it's the same guy? Uh, I could really go for some angel cake now. Wait! Get me some angel cake. And Gunner Crossbones used to be your, uh, guitar player person? There must be some connection between them. Wait a minute! Both their names start with a G! No, they don't. Then I got nothing. storage device. We'd better keep our distance. I'ma shoot it! Kabako, my impatient, undisciplined, and yet somehow beloved former student. I am pretty beloved. It's true. Thank you for joining me in the RPG galaxy. I've been preparing something delicious just for you. Won't you join me at the table, my dear? <laughs> Well, that's obviously a trap. Probably. But he also said delicious and mama hungry. Kabako, let's not rush into things. Relax, Squiddy. I know how to pace myself. You should see me with a face. I can last day. Get ready, Chef Nob, because you're about to get served. Oh, like a meal. Exactly. Kabako, intergalactic bounty hunter. That's me! And culinary hack. Hey! Welcome to my kitchen. Um, where? Silly girl, the entire galaxy is my kitchen now! Must be hard to find the eggs. Prepare to die. Course by delicious course. Ooh! See? Told you they'd be food squiddy. You were always such an embarrassment to our academy, Kabako. No! I was kind enough to grace you with my expansive culinary wisdom. And you were blessed to have been educated by me, the great Kevinor! Gesundheit! But though I offered you the secrets to galactic comestor mastery, you were only interested in comfort food! All food comforts me! Hamburgers, hot Dogs, fried chicken, mac and cheese. Okay, you're making me really hungry now, buddy. Where's the food? Impatience. That was always your foible. I wobble. Prepare your palate, Kabako. This delicious meal will be your last. <laughs> First up, we have our appetizer. Black. Diamond shrimp in cream of duck fat, blended with a peppered tadpole sorbet inside a warm hyena's liver. What? No, no! Can't I have a cheeseburger instead? Absolutely not! You will not disgrace my recipes now like you did back then! But people like tasty food! What they like is irrelevant! Art is pain! 
So to consume art must tear at the very lining of your stomach! How about a hot dog? Next, we have a light salad made of blue bear lettuce, heirloom tomatoes, quail feathers, and black truffle stems. Big salad! And all those other things! I know! <laughs> How old were you when I found you on the steps of our academy? Seven? Eight? Hey! What is you? What are we guessing? You were scarcely taller than a double boiler. But I saw potential in you. Well, there's your first mistake. The key to a great salad is balance. You can't allow your vegetables to overwhelm your greens. Hold the veggies, please. Of course. I have no problem allowing this salad to overwhelm you. And finally, our main course. Le plat principal. Thrice-boiled wagyu beef. Seared in peppermint clownfish gills and dressed in a starfish oil and oyster camembert glaze. None of that sounds like food! I could have forgiven you abandoning my school, Kabako. You weren't the first student of mine to forsake my teachings. Shocking. But no, you had to change the food world. Infect the palates of dining's elite with your junk food. It does a body good. No. It does not. Listen, Hambone, I eat what I want. Who are you to tell me what goes down my food hole? I am seven off! You've defeated me. Every course. Every ingredient. Well, I'm still hungry. Next time, bring something eatable. Edible. Exactly. Maybe you are the galaxy's greatest chef. No, doy. You know who's behind this, right? No idea whatsoever! Follow the Moe star, then hang a left at Sundere Moon. You'll find her there. Flying a course. I leave you with my final dish. A simple, elegant dessert. Let me guess. Rhino butt eclair with earwax frosting? A strawberry souffle. As pure as food gets. Enjoy. Oh, fine. Give me. Do you like it? It could use some cheese doodles. <laughs> Come on, Squiddy. Let's blow this salad stand. Yes, sir. Inflatable futon. According to Chef Enough's directions, our mystery antagonist is hiding in the... Ah, everything is so cute! In the Kawaii Galaxy. I've never been to Hawaii! Kawaii! It's Japanese for cute. I want to hug everything! Saying that? 
I don't think that's you, Kabako. Squiddy, have you been recording me in my sleep uh, again? person is, Kabako? If she's behind everything, she must be pretty obsessed with you. Yeah, her and the rest of the galaxy. She knew about your history with Gunner and Shepanov. Look, Squiddy, it's time to come clean. About her. About everything. I'm listening. It started six years ago. I went to the video store to rent a documentary on polar bears that ride unicycles, as you do. But every darn polar bear unicycle movie was checked out! <gasps> I was heartbroken. So, I rented an anime about shark parties instead. It was hilarious! But when it came time to return the movie eight months later, I couldn't find it anywhere. I checked under my sofa, in the fridge, behind your eyeballs. I remember. Nothing. No movie anywhere. The guy at the rental place told me I owed them 20 space bucks to replace it. But I just yelled at him, replace this! Then I ran outside and found a half-eaten taco on the ground, so I ate the other half. And how does that connect with our mystery lady? What lady? <laughs> Pretty sure. This is 
is your last chance to turn back. Battling with me will only make me stronger. Really? Eating makes me stronger. It's true. And right now, I'm in the mood for impasta. Get it? Because you sound sort of like me. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to ruin this battle. That one. Awesome. Yeah, you should feel bad about that one. over with. All these food puns are making me hungry. Then let us get a move on. <laughs> Squitter. You ridiculous winged nitwit. You fell right into my trap. See? After all these years and decades and centuries of waiting, vengeance will finally be mine. You'll pay for what you did to me, Kabako. I'm sorry, who are you? What? Squiddy! Who is this angry person? Scanning, sir. Stop that! You know exactly who I am! Did you install my cable? No. Deliver my pizza? No! Install my cable? No! Then I got no idea. I am Uramiko, a.k.a. Cat Grill. I am your worst nemesis. You'd think that would narrow it down, but nah. -uh. No matter. Even if you don't remember me, I will still destroy... Oh, come on! How can you not remember me? Squiddy, I think it's time for an intergalactic pummeling! Yes, sir. Are you sure that's not me, Squiddy? Yes, Kabako. She sure looks like me. Maybe she's a fan. I am not your fan. It's okay. I get this all the time. You want an autograph, little girl? I will paint the stars with your blood. No need. I've got a pen. Squiddy, give me a pen. It'll be a lot easier if you stop shooting at me first. Die, cat girl! What do I make this out to?
it was probably delicious. Cinnamon crumbs. Oh, yeah! Mmm. Our lives have been intertwined since the beginning. And yet somehow, I've always lived in your shadow. Hey, is that a fat joke? Gunner Crossbones was the love of my life. We made beautiful music together. Literally. Until you came along and he kicked me to the curb. Literally. Sorry. Never heard of the guy. Fortunately, I found myself again in cooking, becoming apprentice to the great culinary artiste, Shefanov. I followed his every recipe, becoming a renowned chef myself. You came along and disgraced him, driving Shefanov insane and turning the world against classic recipes in favor of your disgusting comfort food. Yeah, none of this is ringing any bells. How can you be so cruel? Every turn of my life, you've been there to destroy me. Just last month, you tore off one of my wings and stole it because you said it was hecka cute. That sounds like me, but I still think you're mistaken. You're wearing it right now. Oh, yeah. It does look cute on me. And now, I'll finish with Gunner Crossbones and Shefanov could not. A boss battle? I will destroy you, Kabako, once and for all. It's over. You beat me. Maybe I am just a pathetic copycat. Copycat? <laughs> nice one. Here. This is yours. Whoa! My videotape! <gasps> I thought I lost it. You did. When I stole it from you. I better call the rental place. Do with it what you will. Finally! Wait, are there even rental places anymore? Nope. Just know one thing, Kabako. This is not the end. Your trials have only begun. Over the coming months, you'll encounter six more... Boy, you talk a lot, Squiddy! The galaxy is saved. Let's go eat, Squiddy. But she said there were six more... I said the galaxy is saved! Yes, sir. All you can eat! Sleep, sweet Kebako, into outer space you go. The galaxies, they love you so. Oh, Kebako, oh, Kebako. Sleep, sweet Kebako, among the stars and planets, oh. They cradle you, they love you so. Oh, Kebako. Kebako, the dark and dreamful peace you'll know, the mystery revealed, the asteroids swing to and fro while you are dreaming here. Sleep, sweet Kebako, tomorrow you'll adventure more, the universe it loves you so.
without salad! 